Hey guys, welcome back to NK Beauty. Today I have for you my 2015 favourites. I'm super excited to do this video because I have quite a few products for you. Now, all of these products are not products that I'm saying are the best in 2015. They are just my personal favourites, um, things that I have been enjoying throughout the year of 2015 and things that I will definitely be continuing to enjoy in 2016. So, without further ado, let me just jump straight in. Again, there's quite a few products. Grab some popcorn. The first thing I'm going to start with is skincare and uh, these two products I have been using religiously. The first one is this um, Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Alcohol Free Toner. And I absolutely love this um, to use after I've cleansed my face. I will tone my face before I apply this, which I'll get into in a second. The reason I love this is it really just feels fresh. It removes any extra... Um, makeup that I've got left over, say I've accidentally uh, left a few like on the edges of my face or something like that, um, that will remove it and it, it balances out, um, I think it's the pH levels in your face, I don't know what it is exactly but this has really really been helping, like I noticed that when I stopped using this I was getting a little bit greasier. Um, in the face around my t-zone area i started using this again and it's been working a treat i absolutely love it um yeah there's, there's nothing wrong i could say about this um let's go on to this and this is the skin pep hydro boost now the story behind this is i got it in i think it was my glossy box and um i loved it so much i got like a little tiny sample i loved it so much that I went and bought the full size and the full size is almost finished. The only thing is, is this thing is so expensive. I got 50% off of it and it was still kind of expensive. Um, now I don't have any kind of discount code. Now I'm like, really want another one, but I don't want to spend the money. But I will be spending the money because that's how good this is. This helped me all throughout last winter because I would get like really flaky, really dry uh, around my uh, my around my nose, around my um, mouth area, my cheeks, um, and the top of my forehead just over here. And this really helped. Um, it's a serum, so it goes straight into your skin. Um, literally within about a minute of applying it, you can't feel it anymore. Uh, which I absolutely love, so, so I this is a must for me and I will be repurchasing when this is completely finished which it is literally up to here I can see through the bottle it's literally here have to do that soon don't I okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is face and my favourite foundation Throughout the year of 2015, I only discovered this mid-2015, but it definitely beats every other foundation I've used ever. And this is the Kiko Milano Liquid Skin Second Skin Foundation. It is like this, it is a dropper, like that, um, literally one pump uh, does my entire face and more. Um, it is super pigmented so it covers up everything I need it to cover up but it still looks super natural which is what I love. I love that I don't have to set this with any powder as well. It is a liquid to powder finish. Um, I've been loving this. This uh, was actually quite expensive considering it's Kiko. It was £18 pounds, um, but worth every penny. The next thing is actually something I only discovered last month. Um, so I don't know if if I can really say that I love this throughout the whole of 2015, but it definitely beats every other powder that I've uh, I've used. So for the for the year, I would say this is probably the best powder that I've used. And this is the Hello Flawless by Benefit. Um, I've only got a sample size because I got it in a glossy box, I believe it was. And this is so pigmented that I don't have to wear um, concealer. Uh, foundation or anything I will literally just apply this with a beauty blender just around the areas that I need to and I will go out and this is perfection I've been loving this 
more face products. Um, first, the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Um, I wasn't a big fan of bronzing at the beginning of the year or contouring or anything and so I bought this. Did I buy this? I don't remember if I bought this or if my aunt gave it to me. I don't remember but I got this um, and I literally use it daily, well not daily daily but whenever I do like a full face I'll use it. Um, it's the perfect shade, um, it's not too muddy, it's not too, uh, it's not too cool, not too warm. It can get muddy if you put too much of it on but it's perfect with, with like the right amount. My favourite blush of 2015 is another one by Benefit and this is the Bella Bamba. What's bugging me about this is this is not available in the UK, um, which is really annoying because when I run out, I'm going to want another one and I'm going to have to get it from America if it's still available. I don't know why they discontinued this in the UK. Um, they, they just need to bring it back. Um, I love it because it's the perfect shade for summer, winter, whatever look you're doing, it looks amazing. Um, it is more of a summer shade, I would say, spring summer shade, um, but even through the winter I was using this, so I've been loving this. My all-time favourite highlight is this one by Autograph. Autograph, if anybody doesn't know, is the Marks & Spencer brand for makeup. Yes, they do makeup and it is amazing. It's not cheap as well. So this one here is actually no longer available. At least it wasn't the last time I mentioned it. I will check again. Make sure you guys check out my description box below because I link all the products that I um, mention in this video down there. So make sure you check that out. I spend so much time on it. Please check it out. Um, this is uh, the Pure Lux Multi Highlighter and this is in Pearl. This is the perfect highlighter if you want something that is shimmery but not too sparkly. You want it to just look like a glow from within. It's perfection. I literally use this daily. It's only when I feel bad for my other highlighters that I go for another highlight. It's literally, I will grab this every single day and then I'll grab it and then I'll be like, oh, I've not used the other one in a little while. Maybe I should use that being as I have it. That's the situation. Otherwise, I would literally use this every single day. The next and last face product that I wanted to mention is this. And this is the Benefit Professional. If you guys notice, there's a lot of Benefit products in here. Don't ask why. I just, I've been loving Benefit this year. But yeah, um... I did not like this when I first purchased it. I even gave it away. Then um, I went up to America at the beginning of last year and um, my aunt said to me um, how the Benefit Professional is amazing and I said to her, I don't like it. And she said, why? And then I said, well, it kept like to cling to my dry spots and stuff. And she said, I'm gonna get it for you and you're gonna try it again. And I tried it again and I have not stopped using this. Um, I literally reach for it every single day. There is not a day that goes by where I don't put this on my face. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I will put this on my face. As soon as you put it on, it just smooths everything out. I don't know what is it, what it is I didn't like about it before, but I was clearly just stupid because this is amazing. Right, I have four uh, lip products to share with you and the first one is actually one that is kind of unexpected one that I never have mentioned on my channel before and that's because it's not technically a makeup product it is a lip balm and this is by the brand Cowshed it's called Lippy Cow Natural Lip Balm the reason I love this is it's basically like a serum for your lips it's so thin uh, what I would do is I would apply this um, when doing my makeup and by the end of it it would smooth out my lips um, and I can put on my lip liner perfectly without it like clinging and being dry and dragging and all of this this I literally use every single day uh, every day I do my makeup even if I'm not using makeup I will still put this on because of how amazing it is um, this is definitely something I will be repurchasing. 
another thing that I use every single day, but this is later on in the day, is this. And I actually only recently repurchased this. By recently, I mean last week. And this is the Baby, Lip, Baby Lips by uh, Maybelline. And this is in the shade Cherry, I think. I think this is Cherry. Cherry Me, that's it. Uh, it looks like this. Um, it's not pigmented, like, it has got some kind of tint of colour, but it's not pigmented. I remember when I was doing my makeup course, I brought this out, and without a mirror, and I was just like this, and then, like, the girls gasped, and I was like, what's going on? And she was like, I thought that you were going to put red lipstick on without, mi without a mirror, and I was like, what? why would I do that? But, yeah, so, um... It is quite uh, deceiving, I would say. But no, uh, I absolutely love it. It gives the perfect tint. It gives the perfect moisture. Uh, I, again, use this every single day, but this is like later on in the day. Um, but I would use it like if I'm at work and I just need a pick-me-up, put this on, feel amazing. Uh, it makes your lips super soft and just amazing. Can I just add that this was, well, not this one, but my other one was the first ever lip balm in my life that I used from start to finish. I actually finished it without losing it. That is like record breaking for me. The next two things is stuff that you guys have seen on my channel like a hundred times because it is literally the only lip colour I will wear on a daily basis. The lip liner is this one by MAC and it is in the shade Saw. Um, it's this one here, it's like a dusty pink, uh, it's like, it's just perfection. That's all I'm going to say, it is perfection. I use this every single day, whether I have a full face of makeup on or minimal makeup on. I won't wear it if I don't have any makeup on, because like, what's the point of just having lips on? Um, if I've got any kind of makeup on, I've got this lip liner on and I've got this on top. Unless I've gone for like a bolder lip, but it's very unlikely. This is the Rouge Edition Velvet by Bourjois Paris. And this is in the shade 07 Nudist. If you guys have not tried this, why? Because not only is it unbelievably pigmented, but it goes on like velvet. Like it, it's in the name, it's Rouge Edition Velvet. It goes on like velvet, if you rub your lips together it feels like velvet, it feels like velvet throughout the whole day, it starts to dry a little bit, um, but not like drying, it feels super soft on your lips, it never feels dry on the lips, just, you guys need to go and try this, like, when is like a 3 for 2 offer? Go and get this one as your free item because you need to try it, it is absolute perfection. I cannot say any more good things about this. I have no complaints. I will be repurchasing when it's finished. It's probably due to finish because I've had this for forever and it's still lasted actually. It's still got so much product in there. Um, even though I had it, I've had it for almost a year I would say. Yeah. And again, no complaints whatsoever. The next two products are eyeliners but they are for different purposes. Lies a waterproof cold casual in 001 black um it is super creamy the reason i love this is for my waterline it stays all day it doesn't smudge um nothing wrong to say about this apart from it's amazing the next thing is this elf precision liquid liner can i say that like three times fast elf precision liquid liner elf precision liquid liner elf precision blah, blah, blah. no i can't so um I've been loving this because it's so easy to apply. Um, this has been absolutely amazing to me. I've used it throughout the entire year. Um, it it helps me because when I do my line, um, I'll like swoop it round and then I'll just stop there and like do a flick. Like I don't slowly do a flick. I'll like literally flick it and it creates this perfect tapered line and it's like not on fleek <laughs> literally um i've been loving this i don't know if it's just this exact i mean it's the only liquid eyeliner that i have so i don't know if it's 
this liquid liner or if it's liquid eyeliner in general but this is the liquid or this is the eyeliner of my preference for 2015. Brows. Let's talk about brows. I don't know how I didn't discover this earlier and this is, if you guys don't know, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I have run out of this like No! I am definitely repurchasing. Um, I have been out of it for about a week now. I don't know why I haven't repurchased it yet. <sighs> it broke my heart when I couldn't bring any more out. I was like, goodbye, flawless brows. You have done me well. Cue the sad music. No, I'm joking, I'm not going to put sad music. But, <laughs> um, this has literally changed my brows. Anytime I'm not wearing this, um, it's like on there, brow, brow, whatever. If I'm wearing this, I literally get complimented on my brows everywhere. It got to the point where even if I was not wearing any makeup, I would put, I would use this to fill in my brows. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know. It's um, it's not too pigmented. I think that's what it is. Um, it's the perfect shade for my brows, which is amazing. This is in the shade Ebony, I believe. Yeah, it's in the shade Ebony. So you can imagine how dark I like my brows. But the thing is, is the shade might be really dark, but like, let me show you. Can I show you? Like, look how long it takes to build up that color. It's not like you swipe it and it's black. Like, you you have to slowly build it up, which is what I love about it. So, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. Um, I've tried to look at my other, or use my other brow products, hence the brows today. Um, but, they're just not cutting it for me. Anything I'm trying, I'm like, I want my brow whiz back. No. So, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this items items I say items because there's two but they are the same thing the only reason I am including them together is because they work magically as a pair this is the benefit roller lash mascara and the L'Oreal Paris voluminous mascara now the roller lash is amazing by itself I will use this by itself, but I will not use this by itself unless I'm in a rush. The Roller Lash is the amazing mascara that you need when you are taking your time with your mascara. The Voluminous is what you need if, if you're in a rush. Um, I use them together. I use the Roller Lash first and the Voluminous Mascara second. Um, made in heaven. Um, I love them both separately, but when they're together, like, I get complimented on my eyelashes when, when I wear these two together. Um, would recommend either or separately, but seriously, if you want an amazing eyelash game, then you need to get them both and you need to try them both together. Um, I've been absolutely loving them. Every single time I do my lashes, I've been reaching for these. And sometimes i feel bad because i've got so many mascaras that i'll like reach for another one i'll try it on and i'll be like why did i even bother when i love the other one so much so i'll put that one back down and i'll grab these two again i seriously feel so bad because my mascaras are probably sitting in my drawer drying up while i'm just too busy having fun with these ones but what can you do <laughs> All right, I think this video is long enough. I have been talking for 23 minutes. Lovely. Um, I'm gonna try and cut it out as much as possible. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys had an amazing 2015. Um, it is a new year, so I guess a fresh start. Um, please, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys soon. Bye. And the lip liner is this in the shade, shade Shaw, Shaw, so, nope.